As a storage or compliance administrator, you need to understand how files on a NAS share are being used and if there are any anomalous file access patterns. And for this purpose, I present to you Spotlight, which is equipped with all these features. Now I got Spotlight app from Cohesity Marketplace and I have installed it all on all my clusters using a multi-cluster manager called Helios. So I go to one of my clusters and I find this app is already installed. I can run one or more instances of this app. So I have already uh, executed one instance of this app. So I'll go to this all instances page. Now this is the instance that I ran earlier. I'll go ahead and open the app. When this app opens, as a first time user, I will land into the dashboards page. This will answer all the high level questions. It has three pre canned panels. The first one shows summary of all the events segmented by event type. There are four different event types called created, deleted, accessed and modified. Then you can find the most recent events that are happening on your NAS file system. Then you get a trend of events over a week. Now this certainly picks my interest. I come back tomorrow. I want to slice and dice my data even more to find any particular anomalous behavior. So I go to new search page. So the new search page comes with a default query and its results. As I sift through the data presented here, I find something very interesting on 20th of Feb. The file access pattern is much more as compared to rest of the days. So I need to investigate this as this can be a potential ransomware attack. What I do is I plot this by views. I see that this is not very interesting because there are no uh, spiky patterns in this. Let me uh, plot this by user. Now when I plot this by user, it plots the parameter distribution in which the user with the most frequent access comes on the left hand side and then there is this long tail. Now user 1 is performing large number of actions as compared to other users. So I'll need to dig deeper into this. First of all, let me go and filter by just by this user, right? And then let me sift through the data. So these are the actual events that the user has performed. I'm looking at one particular view, which contains legal documents. I'll remove all these views and view 10 is the view of my interest. So I apply this filter and I see there are 404 events. So let me go ahead and look at the individual events. As I sift through this data, I'm relieved because this user has not accessed any sensitive data. My day is saved, but I want to be careful. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pin this user to the dashboard. Now you see there is an additional panel in this dashboard, the one that I just created. So after a month of using this app, I've, I consider myself as a power user. A couple of my colleagues approach me and they want to derive the same value that I am able to derive, but they are not yet familiar with this app. So what I can do is I can take their queries, their slicing and dicing parameters and create multiple panels but I don't want to clutter my dashboard with hundreds of panels. So what I can do is I can go to the new search. I can add the filters that they desire. And I can save this search. Now, if I go to the nav bar in the save search pan page, I will find all my save searches. So anybody can click on this and he can get back to the same search. So far so good. Now what happens as an administrator if I forget to use this app for one day and some anomalous user behavior happens on the very same day. Now we are working on augmenting this app with anomaly detection using statistical and machine learning methods. This feature will ev be available in v2 of this app. Adding alerting on top of the anomaly detection will help you take corrective action before it's too late. So you're all covered. Now, thank you for listening in and thank you for your time.